Well, here it is, August 13th, and unfortunately, I have to do another video on the virus. Yeah, another rant, unfortunately. But we ever notice that, like, the, the time right before you go into work is, like, the fastest moving time fastest moon part of the day those first you know is the, that hour or two before you go to work it's like whew. and then you get to work and it's and it's like then the time <laughs> goes slower than a snail you ever notice that that's just crazy yeah. so hopefully i get this video off uh hopefully i don't spend more than uh 15 minutes hopefully i'll try to keep it under that but um <clears throat> august 13th here we are right on the doorstep of back to school season and whew, boy you keep thinking that this virus and all the shutdowns everything is going to end sooner rather than later but sooner leaves town and now here we are, we're starting to get the fall events. Heck, even even Christmas time events are getting canceled. Raleigh canceled their Christmas parade, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. And just a couple days ago, um, the Wrightsville Beach, Daniel Wilmington canceled their boat parade, a.k.a. Flotilla, right? Now, a Christmas parade... I can understand how that would be difficult to maintain social distance. It, it gets pretty crowded, and it's on one route. But a boat parade, it, I don't know how familiar you are with Wrightsville right Beach, but you can really, you know, there's plenty of space around there to see the parade, you know, and boats. Uh, boat A boat is a... It's a motor vehicle. It's up on. It's in water, obviously, right on the roads. And you should still not be. You should still be more six feet apart, even if there's not a virus. In my opinion, but it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a story, and then I'm going to tell you something else that I just read in the news this morning. Okay, so story time. Gather round, everybody. Or heck, if you want to hit the pause button, go get some cookies and juice. I would say cookies and milk, but I don't like milk. I, I like chocolate milk, but not regular milk. Um, okay, so about a week, last week, I went to run a couple errands. And the first stop was... I had to get some grocery shopping. Um, had, to, had to pick up a Chromecast device because I wanted to get HBO Max, but Roku and HBO Max can't seem to come to an agreement, so I have to stream HBO Max via a Chromecast and via my Android phone. So I had to go to Walmart Supercenter. I get, okay, it's about 10 minutes, the closest Walmart Supercenter to my house. I'm cruising down... Um, the Beltway here in Greensboro and I get about 8 minutes into my 10 minute drive and I realize oh I don't have my mask with me okay and I you know and I thought geez but then I was like wait a minute by the time I get because I'm on a freeway I can't turn around easily. I have to go, you know, a couple miles to the next exit, then turn around. So by the time I do that, you know, it'll take another 20 minutes to get back to, <laughs> to where I was. It's like, no, I'm not wasting time or money for a stupid mask. For a virus that you have about a half percent to three quarters of percent chance of actually getting. And if you do get this virus by chance, um, the death rate is microscopic. It's like 0 0.001 half of 1%. 
right? If you do get the virus, you might, you know, be have cold or flu symptoms for a few days. And if you do get it, hopefully you have an employer who is nice as my my employer is and gives you two weeks paid vacation for your troubles. But anyway. So I don't have my mask with me. I go to Walmart, right? And I um walk up and of course they have this barricade where there's one way in and one way out and you have to like walk this way and then around like a J shape almost okay so I walk in and um, person greets me at the door but doesn't say anything about me not having a mask okay I shop I get, do a lot of groceries and everything and then I realize I have to go to the electronics department now what I need is one of those behind the locked counter okay so I go up to the electronics counter ask the lady I need a Chromecast device she says oh yeah yeah okay and pay for it right there never says a word about me not having a mask walk all through the entire store no mask go up to the checkout counter self checkout and this place is like this is like two o'clock on a weekday this place is like crazy I get in this long line I'm like oh no I got I'm gonna be here in another 30 minutes and it's crazy because I get in line <laughs> and I'm and I'm waiting for traffic to go by me and they get in line but the traffic is actually coming to the end of the line so I'm like <laughs> I sort of accidentally let a couple people in line but whatever but fortunately about two or three minutes later they open up like three more self checkout lanes so again I walk right past the self checkout girl and Nobody says anything about not having a mask, okay? Throughout my entire time inside the Walmart store, nobody never says anything. None of the employees or none of the other customers, you know? And I do my best to stay six feet away from people if I possibly can, too. So, the entire time in that crowded Walmart, nobody says anything about me not having a mask. Okay, so the second and final stop on my uh, mid-afternoon journey, I decided to pick up some expensive takeout food from one of my favorite restaurants, at least as far as chain restaurants go, the Cheesecake Factory. I'm not a fan of cheesecake, the food, but I like the, you know, the... The pasta dishes, the chicken, marsala, and the chicken and biscuits is really good. Anyway, okay, so I put in the order for 2 o'clock. I get there a few minutes after 2 o'clock, and boy, I, I get in that parking lot, and it's packed. Like, geez, does anybody in this, you know, I mean, I know that a lot of people are out of work right now, but still, it's like five months later from when the virus hit you would think some people will be back to work it's Tuesday it's two o'clock lunch rush should be over but not the cheesecake factory unfortunately now <clears throat> there were it was weird when I put the order in it says call when you get here wait in your car and we'll bring it out to you but on another screen like on my receipt, it tells me to go inside to the um, the cash register, or what, what are they called, the cheesecake stand, or whatever you call that, well, vestibule, or whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> I think to myself, what would be easiest in this situation? Now, I've been to Cheesecake Factory a couple times before, um, back like in May, yeah, April or May or March even, a couple times in there when all the restaurants were shut down in North Carolina, okay. Um, so it was very easy for me to call them and have them bring the food out to my car. This time there, the parking lot was packed. 
And I, you know, I just, you know, sensed that they were busy enough. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to make it easy on them and myself too, but them especially to go inside. Okay, now keep my, I did not have a mask on, you know, or with me or any of that. Okay, but I was like, I'm just going to go right in, hopefully pick up the food and go right back out. I'd be in there maybe. A minute if that okay so what happens is I go inside right and I go immediately when when you when you go in this particular cheesecake factory here in Greensboro you either walk straight ahead to the hostess stand and you you know you say table for however many people we have with you it could be one or you know one or whatever um, or there's a little cheesecake stand. If you're picking, you know, they have a rack of cheesecakes and a cash register. And if you're picking up an order for takeout, you just go to the right. So, I... Now, there was there was another customer at the counter ahead of me, okay? I was the second one in line, but I made sure I stood six feet apart. And I made sure I, I abided by... The cheesecake factories you know how a lot of restaurants and stores now they have these little markers these little markings on the floor that tell you what six feet is stand here six feet then stand on that one another six feet yeah i did that <clears throat> okay so again i get inside i go to the right i stand right on this you know six feet marker at the che at the cheesecake stand and probably just about a second or two later there's this um <clears throat> there's this fella he's probably you know late teens early 20s probably first job you know doesn't doesn't have a whole lot of uh you know um you know a whole lot of wisdom i guess you could say I might mean, be smart, but you know, he's one of those people that's pretty, probably pretty liberal and, you know, lets the media influence him or whatever. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> um, he says, Sir, sir, uh, you, you'd have a mask on. I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't have one. You know, and a few seconds go by, and, and he says, "You have to have a mask on to be in here." I'm like, "I'm like, listen, man, I'm here to just pick up food, okay? I'm not here to dine in or do any of that, okay?" And I tell him, "I say I forgot my mask, which is the truth too, okay? I'm not trying to pull one of these, you know, trying to make a scene or any of that stuff, even though I don't believe in the mask mandate, but you know." Um. Most times if I'm going somewhere into a store, yes, I'll have a mask on just because I don't want to cause a scene. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean I, I don't, you know, I completely disagree with the mandate, though. So, <laughs> um, you know, after telling him about two or three times I don't have a mask and I'm just here to pick up a takeout order. He says, well, where are you parked? I said, well, I'm in that tan Honda Accord that's down there like <laughs> 20 cars away, you know. Uh, it's a crowded parking lot. And I was parked kind of far away. He says, well, just go outside and have a seat on the bench and we'll bring the food out to you. But <clears throat> so then a few minutes pass. I'm out in this hot, hot sun. It's like, why doesn't the Cheesecake Factory, you know, if you're going to pull this mask BS, <laughs> you know, try to be more hospitable with the outdoor people. Have some fans or put a little tent with some mist or something or make your lobby a little bit bigger maybe. That would be nice. But anyway, my, my point of bringing that up to y'all is, is that, remember, I was in Walmart for 30 minutes, okay? And I passed probably at least 10 employees my whole time in there. Nobody said anything about me wearing a mask, not wearing a mask. And I was engaged in an activity where wearing a mask is perfectly 
um, reasonable. I don't agree with the mass mandate, but yeah, I can see where it's reasonable in a store. Versus walking into a restaurant lobby and picking up a takeout order, the very first person I see tells me, Sir, where's your mask? Instead of what he should be doing is, Hey, how you doing today, sir? How can I help you? Oh, you're picking up a takeout or okay we'll just we we'll just for future reference um ne next time you come in here we we really appreciate if you have a mask on okay i'm like yeah sure I'll, i won't forget next time i'm sorry instead of barking at me you have to have a mask you have to have a mask you're going to hell if you don't wear a mask screw you if you don't have a mask f you blah, 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 you know point of this is customer service on, on, you know in a restaurant come on now a restaurant where you're going to be eating and drinking okay you have to have a mask on not only that but if you're meeting a cute you know if i'm meeting a cute female for dinner in a restaurant and it's a noisy restaurant most restaurants are noisy have a lot of background noise i have to wear a mask if i'm not eating or drinking you know <laughs> it's very difficult to communicate when you're wearing a mask oh and what if i'm i'm a business professional and i have to meet with a client or a co-worker of mine for a project in a restaurant and i have to wear a mask again i have to basically yell at them the whole time because restaurants are so noisy so yeah it's crazy okay and another thing i want to I want to bring up to y'all is just today I was scrolling through my Facebook feed and I found out that AMC movie theaters which AMC I believe is the largest movie theater company in the US um, they have decided that they're going to start reopening theaters at the end of the month now I have a caveat with that that says they're going to reopen in states where you can open movie theaters. North Carolina is not one of these states. Just last week, the governor said, we're in phase two for another five weeks. So it's going to be September 11th before maybe we open up. But personally, with Cooper and his BS, we're probably not going to be able to open anything up till like January 1st when he's hopefully voted out of office and we have a new governor here. But... And the point of mentioning AMC theaters open up is that <clears throat> um, they were going to open up, I believe, back in originally. They closed in March, and then about a month later, they said we're going to open by Memorial Day, and we're not going to not going to require people to wear a mask in the movie theater. Well, then. Uh, a bunch of socialist liberals got really angry at them and said, no, you have to require people to wear a mask. So they changed their mind, and but they decided not to reopen at all. And then just today, I'd rather going to reopen like 100 theaters by the end of August, then two-thirds of their theaters should be open by the end of September. But, but they're going to require people to wear a mask. Now, why is this a wrong decision well movie theaters were already on their last legs even before this covid mess ever hit the surface you had you've you know in the last three or three two or three years you've had an explosion of streaming media services where if you want to watch a movie um you know, you can watch it in the comfort of your own home via a smart TV. Most people have smart TVs nowadays. Or you can do the old-fashioned thing from 10 years ago. Believe it or not, Redbox is still around. Go to a Redbox kiosk, get a movie. It'll cost you just like a dollar fifty or $2, somewhere around there. But, so, here's my question to you, my audience. What makes more business sense? You're an industry on your last legs. You're going to require people to wear a mask, and you're going to charge people at least ten bucks to see a movie. Or would so? Would you rather do that, or would you rather, in the comfort of your own home, 
You don't have to wear a mask. You're not required. You can wear whatever you want. Heck, you can be naked if you want to. You could even have sex while you're watching a movie with somebody if you want to. Ooh, that's kind of ridiculous. Not, not, not G-rated. <laughs> Sorry. You can do whatever you want. Watch a movie. Wear whatever you want or nothing. Watch a movie in the comfort of your own home for either two dollars with Redbox, or if you have a monthly streaming service. Disney Plus is probably like what, ten cents a day or something at the six ninety nine price point, or you know maybe a fifty cents a day with HBO Max, right? But yeah, yeah, you would probably stay at home and do the streaming service, watch a movie in the comfort of your own home, not have to worry about wearing a mask, right? <sighs> all right, well that's my rant for today, and whew, all right, we'll have a nice day. <laughs> bye bye.